Hi there, Delroy here again. I'm just off to a job. I think it's a church where their central heating or their heating system's not working. They phoned up an heating engineer, but after going through it with him, they he told them to get an industrial electrician. <laughs> In so that's it. Um, I'm going to see if I can sort it out. Industrial electrician. <laughs> the gas um, meter that's the gas meter, meter yeah. okay cool that's and, well the thing is i i'm nothing to do with gas i know i know but i just want to explain so that you know exactly okay cool yeah. cool you see this is the gas yeah the gas work but when the, the, guy, oh, the, guy, the guy came this is the gas here yeah this is the gas i've never seen anything like yeah, what is this, this? Is, and this is the electric part the electric part that supplies the gas so he turned on the gas here when he turned on the gas the so that, that's the boiler yeah. yeah okay and he check there's a power in here go there he check here then this power supposed to supply to this and to this he check here he has something that he check and he, he this one show red i mean the, there's a power going there but there's no well, power coming well in. there's power going here because yeah. you can see the heat and the boiler is yeah. on yeah but there's no power this one supposed the moment we turn this one on and this one on all this one should all everything here should be on Right. Then, when this one is on, then you see this one on Go and going around. You, yeah, these but, things yeah, here. Yeah, these things going around. What are, now, they, what are these? I don't know. I've never seen it before. Yeah, so we, we, we bought the property last two years ago. Yeah. And that's how it I've seen the gas meter, but I've never seen this sort of setup. Okay, so heat pump. These are yeah, the heat pumps. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Um, all right, look, let me go get my tools. This sort of thing, I haven't seen it before. not really, but I can, yeah, yeah. I can well, check for power. Check I can go in there and check if there's power going in and maybe yeah. see something, okay? All right, then. All right, mate, cool. Let me go and get my tools. Mm, that's not clever, but it is what it is. Okay. Tell me something, um, when, when we turn on this one, if we turn on this one, this lights up, lights everything up. lights up. Lights up. Oh. When you turn on this one, this one too. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, well, so this is the master here, this is the, this is the one that may be giving us the problem. Um, so what I need to do, you see the fuse board you showed me? Yeah. Is that the only fuse board? Yeah. So that, this must be being fed from there. I should be thinking so. Be um, right, tell you what, let me just have a look at this one first before. You put, uh, what you call it? Some, some yeah, voltage tester. Yeah, um, yeah, similar yeah. to this. Yeah, um, wait, there, the wait, there, wait, there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. Well, no, well, it doesn't matter. We can, um, I can do that. Yeah, you yeah. see there's a part there. When you uh, let me. And he checked that one. Oh, there's no problem on that one. Oh, let me. Maybe how oh, this yeah. So, yeah. Um, so now we know there's a problem in there. So, yeah. yeah. Now, so probably maybe. No, no wait, this. wait a second. Have you got the key for that? Let me go have a look. The key. Okay, let me just check this anyway. <laughs> when people come and try and tell you what to do. <laughs> uh, not wrong, what you said. It's not wrong, to be honest with you. Yep, pass. Let's just check with my voltage tester. Okay. Yep, 240 volts coming in. 240 volts going out. So that's all good. So many wires. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got the cable that comes in here, yeah. goes there, up in there, and it goes up to there. So I've got to get my pair of steps so to check. Can, which one connects to this one? Well, it all... Um, yeah then they all come out the top yeah. in that conjure in that box down to here oh, okay. to here oh. so your problems it's from there too. yeah well it's what it is you've got all these contactors yeah. that go in and out to switch things on oh, okay. so um uh yeah you know what in these you see these yeah You've got fuses. Yeah, okay. See, in the, the fuses, so it could be, you see how they've got all these fuses here? Yeah. It could be a problem, maybe a fuse has gone aside. Yeah. So I'm just going to verify that power is getting up to there, yeah. which I, it probably is, seeing that you, you know, we've done the voltage test yeah. on here, like the guy done before. Yeah. He was, was he the gas guy? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He done all that. So he 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 confirmed power there, yeah. power here, no yeah. power there. Yeah. So it's probably from there. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So let me go and get my steps so I can get up there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. That's cool. Right. Okay. So we confirm this voltage going in here. Yeah. Power going in. In there. Yeah, power is in there. So I've got a feeling it could be one of these fuses. I don't like I said these sort of panels. I don't know anything about them. These are contactors that go in and out. Yeah. So, so yeah, I can only assume. Yeah, Right. It seems like that fuse is gone. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what this is. Yeah. This is a 6 amp, what's this one? This is a 6 amp, to make sure I put the right one back in. So okay. Wow, I wonder what would cause them to blow. It's okay. Dead. Okay. Hold that there. Yes, it is. We will tell. Why? Look how I have for you. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I've only found one fuse that was gone so far. Yeah, probably maybe that one. Yeah, it could be just the. Yeah. So it must. The fact that they've left these for you yeah. is something that probably they expect yeah, to happen, yeah, you know? Gonna mostly, uh, yeah. They expect it to happen every now and then, so they've left you loads of fuses. Okay, so, yep, power's going in, that fuse was blown, I've checked all the rest of them, they're all working. in contact, you know, in good working order. So let's shut the oh, so you, ch you changed the fuse? I changed the one that was okay. faulty, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Sound. That sound. Yeah. That didn't. Not in that. Because it stopped. It stopped working for a while. Like two or three months. Like it stopped because because we were. Well, hold up. Let me tell you something, right? Yeah. Because we. That's that's a contactor. Okay. That sounds like a faulty can contactor because I don't think it should be going. It should. Cause what they do is they they just go in, make contact, and turn the thing on. Okay. So the, let's let's turn the let's fact. Turn the turn off thing, sorry. Let's turn this this thing. The, the the thing is the fact that it's going like that. Let me make, oh, yeah. Right. Let, let's just all right. Okay. So uh, let, I wanna, on, just one second. Yeah. Okay. At this side. Right. See, oh, let's see. Well, it's not one of these things, I don't know. No, that will turn the power off. Oh, okay. We know that. Yeah. Something is not right. Um, no, no one. Number two, run. run. So, what is number two, run? Change from here. This one, second. So many wires. Yeah, there's nothing. You do. So hold up, hold up, hold up. Just one second. Let's have a look at this. Uh, just one sec. What is the name of this? Total control. Um, oh, okay, cool. Cool. Hold up. Just one second. Uh, can I speak to uh, your technical department, please? May I ask asking? 
Yeah, my name's Delroy James. I've come. To, I've been called out to look at some uh, um, electrical work, and it turns out to be one of your panels. And we've just got an issue that I'd like to discuss with one of your electrical engineers. Maybe they can give us some guidance. Uh, would it be all right if you send me an email so I can? Because I don't. Well, the thing is, the thing is, I'm on site now, and if they, if I could speak to the engineer and tell them exactly what the problem is, well, then. Based in the office. Okay, so you've got no technical people in your office? Well, uh, well, I will have to go through it and see exactly which side it is and who's done it and well, who can help you. Manual. You can see it and get somebody to call you back. Okay, do you have any, uh, any idea when they'll call back? Will it be an hour, two hours, few minutes or what? I, I don't know, I'm just going to look into it. Okay then. No, the, with this project, yeah? Yeah, the only reason why I ask is because I'm on site. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay. Thank Lovely. you. Very Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. There you go. Yeah, the, yeah. I've got to wait for them. Yeah. What I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and send that little video that I made yeah. of the noise. Send it to them, yeah. and then I'll speak to them. But what I've you see, the, it's one of the contactors in there. I think that's gone. But I am not knowledgeable of how to deal with contactors yeah. so that's why i was hoping i could speak to one of their technical engineers while i'm on site and sometimes they can talk you through it okay you know yeah. so whether i can do it over the phone without being on site is another another scenario i don't know what i can do is um when you call them and they agree to you i can leave this door unlocked i can just close it like that yeah so that when you come, you just pull it out. Yeah. And come in. The, the moment you get here, you call me as I come yeah. on site. I'll just. Yeah. I'm just. Um. I live in Stratford. Yeah. I can just even okay. around. Okay. Well, what I'll do. Uh. Yeah. yeah. So so far we'll um. So, so that's all I can do. I can't do nothing else now. Yeah, so I mean, we we know what the problem is. It was yeah. a broken fuse. We fixed that fuse. Yeah. But obviously. That noise. The problem is what's causing the fuse to probably go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know. So yeah. we need to get that sorted. Right. Okay, mate. Cool. Okay, so that's, um, well, it's definitely one of, I think it's one of the contactors in there that's making that noise. It's probably gone, probably needs changing. Um, and over the years, I've worked with contactors, but mostly with someone who knew about contactors and was showing me what to do. But it's, um, it's, um, it's something that you need to keep working on all the time. It's nothing complicated it's not it's like everything else if you do it all the time then you know more about it you know what to look for know what to do because this i've come across some couple of guys who really knew about contact they can take it apart and you know there's one where there's non-contact and contact and all that sort of stuff but if they can um i was hoping i could speak to an engineer so he could talk me through it on site but for that to happen because that unit you have to turn it off to open the door so then i would have had to operate it to turn it on with the door open to get and with that sort of things you need to know what you're doing i wouldn't do stuff unless i know what i'm doing you know i wouldn't take on stuff like that unless i know what i'm doing so um that's all good uh hopefully i can speak to them over the phone and hopefully i can sort it out and um if not because what i was just saying to isaac uh, the, it may be a case where we have to get one of their engineers down to sort it out. So if that's the case, I'll give him the details. He can deal with it. If I've got the time, I'll pop around just to see what he does so I can get a little bit more knowledge about it. But if not, he can get it sorted between him and them. The um, customer service person on the phone, she was very nice, very helpful. Isaac's a really nice bloke. Good I, that This sort of job is all good because the customer was nice. The person that I was dealing with on the phone was nice. So it's all turned out good. Not always the case. Anyway, cool. See you next time. Delroy here again from Eastway. I've come back to that church because when I left here yesterday, I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I could trace that fault to the... Because I think it's one of those contactors where the windings or whatever is gone the mechanism so um, i'm gonna go and have a look see how i get on okay cool oh okay okay <laughs> 
Okay, so that's that. This one here. Where does that go? That goes to number one. Well, it's got one written on it, so I'm assuming it goes there. But let's make sure. That's it there, curling, going up to there. So number one jumps over to number two. And then number two, you've got two cables in number two. Where is that going? Yeah, it's that one there. That's making the noise. Yeah, it's this one here. That's the one that's doing it. Yep, that one there. You can see it. <laughs> I thought it was here. But maybe it might be both of them together. But, yeah. So, I reckon... If we get another one of these... See if Nick's again. Nick! Hello? Do you do contactors, mate? Uh, yeah, breakers and RCBOs. No, contactors. Contactors, yeah, we do contactors, yeah. Right, they're not breakers or RCBOs, they're actually... No, no, okay. no. So, do you do IMO ones? No. That, is that a particular make, is it, IMO? Yeah, a particular make, yeah. And, well, but you can get them? Probably, yeah. I'm not honestly sure. If you give me a part number, I can, I can look into it. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, the thing is, mate, I'm not sure. All right, what I'll have to do is... Okay, I'll tell yeah, you what. I'll find all the information you've got and I'll look yeah. into it, yeah? Okay, I'll take a picture. All right, mate, Brilliant. thank you. Thanks, thank you. thanks, Cheers. Nikki. Bye. Thanks. I wonder what, 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 what makes a contactor goes like, go like that. Right. Obviously, yeah, it's faulty, but I wonder what makes it re go rapid like that. Usually, there used to be a RS component place up Old Ford near me. You could pop in there and get, get these things quite easily. But um, they've gone online now. or well, They've moved from there anyway. You've got a yes, one of those yes places. You know what? This... And also I went in and I saw a load of contactors. I wonder if it was yes. Hmm. Maybe I'll run up there and have a look. Because I'm I'm thinking. Once you once you take that one out and just reconnect it the way it was it was connected, then you're laughing. Bob's your uncle, as they say. Right, update on what's going on. Right, I've been phoning around. <laughs> Finally, what I've done, I phoned IMO. And one of their engineers, Stuart, really nice guy, been really helping me out, giving me some good information. So what I need to do, the coil in there is gone, he's saying, right? And I knew that when he said that, it, it, um, it ring, because sometimes the coil in there can be 240 volts or four, 400 volts but you have to connect it so it's um, the right, you know, you can use it either or, from what I remember. And what is, I've switched off the power, so this is all dead. And um, uh, I've got to get that out. I've disconnected this part, this part's come out. But what I've got to do is mark these cables to make sure that I know where they go. Edmondson's have got these, CEF, they haven't got them. Right, it never rains but it's pours. I was disconnected that. I've disconnected everything there and marked it. Disconnected everything, marked it. And then I couldn't get this thing off. Couldn't get it off. And while I was trying to get it off, so I spoke to Stuart from IMO. But then the engineer from Total Control, he just contacted me. And he said this was probably fitted in the 90s. That's how old it is. And he's got no records of it. But... I got all the cables disconnected, but I couldn't get this off. And he was trying to tell me how to do it because he was looking at. Um, and you see those that I thought it would be well, it should be like when you put a MCB on a DIN rail. There's a clip. You just pull it down and it comes off. But 
though that's there. I was trying to get my screwdriver in there. But then after speaking to him, all I did, I pushed it in and just leave it up and it came off. Simple. No problem. So what I've got to do now is phone Stuart. Yeah, Stuart, Stuart at IMO. And he's going to tell me, I think this is, a, yeah, this is a 240 volt coil. Yep, 220, 240 volt coil. It's not, um, for e because I, I was thinking, He's thinking it might be the wrong coil or something, but he just wanted to verify that so he can tell me the part number to get. And Edmondson should have it. So I'm going to give him a bell and um, go and get one of these. But I, it's late now, so I doubt if I'll be able to get it today. Probably be tomorrow morning. Okay, let's have a look. Right, like you see, I've got it all out. Um, I uh, spoke to Edmonton. It's Edmondson's. They've got one in stock because I'm going to need this part as well. I'm gonna need, this is the overload, that's the contact, that's the, this is the overload. So once I get the contact, I'm just waiting for them to come back with a price, then I'll tell my client how much it is, but I think he wants me to go ahead and get it anyway. It's near the end of the day, so if they come back in time, I can, I've got to go all the way to Enfield though. I can't wait for them to deliver it, because it's not gonna be till maybe tomorrow afternoon. I just wanna get it, fit it, hold up, she is on the, f 